Hi everyone, welcome to Walk the Talk with Balbi. Today I am with this beautiful young lady, Miss Jannat Vasi, interior architect. Thank Hi Jannat. Hi, how Thank are you? Thank you very much for giving us your valuable time. Of course, of course. It's my pleasure. Thank you. So let's begin. Sure. Do you want to introduce yourself too? Yes, I'm uh, Jannat Vasi. I'm an interior architect and have been practicing in this field since uh, 13 years now and uh, our studio undertakes a diverse range of uh, interior design projects from uh, high-end residential to commercial to hospitality and yeah it's been an amazing journey and a long way to go lovely so i want to know from you janat who is your inspiration so I'm going to uh, divide this into two segments. Uh, first is uh, I'm going to talk about my father because okay. since day one, he's been my number one inspiration uh, because of his work ethic, which is very strong. And he's earned uh, an immense amount of goodwill in his industry. Also, uh, his uh, problem solving attitude is something that I really am inspired by. And in his field of printing and packaging, he is the number one solution provider. Oh, so I feel that is something that I would really love to do. And he loves what he does. And I think I've taken after that. I enjoy what I do. And uh, that's uh, what's got me till here and is going to get me further ahead in life. Superb. That's amazing. It's nothing better than your parents being your own inspiration. Yes. You know, I yes. mean, it's really, really, it's nostalgic. actually. Yes, <laughs> it is. So, so dad for that, for sure. And in our field, there are uh, many designers that I really look up to. And uh, I'm inspired by starting with Zaha Hadid. Uh, she's uh, an Iranian architect uh, who was based in the UK. And uh, she's done some path-breaking work, very fearless in her approach. So I love Zaha Hadid. Big architects from Copenhagen, Denmark. Uh, Yabu Pushilberg from New York. And uh, in India, I uh, like the work of Ashish and Rushad. I think the way that they adopt Indian craftsmanship into their work is uh, very, very, uh, it's uh, very well done. So Jannat, I'd really like to know what is your USP when it comes to your interior architecture? Uh, so uh, in terms of USP, I can think of a couple of things that sets us apart. Uh, firstly, being that uh, we don't have a signature cookie cutter uh, approach to our projects where we have one particular genre of design that we cater to. Rather, I feel that drawing inspiration from our clients, uh, their uh, personality, their lifestyle, the way they live. Uh, also, if we're doing a commercial project or a hospitality project, we draw inspiration from the brand identity. And based on that, we develop the design, the concepts and we ideate. So that would be, I think, one of the USPs I can think of. Uh, the second would be that uh, we have a lean setup on purpose, reason being that I believe in giving uh, good service and personal attention to every client of ours. So my personal involvement is uh, critical when I take a project. So we have a one-point contact system uh, developed over the past few years where it's uh, the designer, the principal designer, the client and the execution agency who work in tandem to create the home. So the coordination becomes very seamless. Uh, also, uh, I feel that um, our sourcing is done from all over the world when we design a project. So uh, it puts our project on a global platform and uh, brings in a lot of diversity into our work. So that's another USP. And having said that, we also believe in digging deep into our uh, techniques, uh, age-old crafts, and adopting that in modern ways. Uh, so another thing that we do is uh, we work with Indian craftsmanship and skilled labor uh, to create uh, a modern outcome to uh, our practice and uh, using materials like marbles, wood, with carvings, but done in a more uh, modern and a more uh, minimal approach. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing we do. 
So yeah, these are a couple of USPs I can think of that yeah. makes our work stand out. Yeah, that's a lot of things, you know. I mean, and we also adopt technology. I feel that is something that we've started doing since a few years where uh, we're looking at uh, AI. We are, uh, uh, during our design development phase, we're using AI, we're using augmented reality for presentations, we're using walkthroughs, 3D visualization. So we're doing that. So technology is another uh, there's another paradigm that we are catering to. Lovely. I mean, it seems like there's so much, you know, that... We're know. trying to be different, well we and we're also trying to give good service. I think that's really, really important. That's most important. So we give good service and in return, we expect our clients to trust us. Of course. I'm sure they trust you, which is why they come to you, right? Yes. Yeah. So what are the challenges you face, you know, on... Any kind of projects that you do, what are the real challenges that, oh my God, now what? So it's been a long journey, to be very honest. And I feel that uh, even though we learn design in school, but uh, in design school, but when we actually are on yeah. site and uh, on the job and in the field is when we actually get experience of how to deal with a client, how to create systems which are valuable and which can streamline work and make the entire process really seamless for the client. So challenges that we had in the past were client's vision and uh, then creating a concept. So now because we have our systems and we have our design checklists, we have our questionnaires, we have a very a systematic way of approaching a project no. that, uh, that uh, you know, that challenge that we had initially is now no more there and we're very easily able to bridge that gap and uh, cater to the client's requirement. Uh, I feel the main challenge is also uh, not only designing, but putting that into execution. Uh -huh. So when a design, making a design reality is a challenge in, I think, which every designer and architect faces. And that's a client's pain point. So uh, what we've started doing now is, uh, since the past few years, is getting project management consultancy, getting a very good set of contractors, working with them, and uh, like I told you, one point system, one point contact system, that really works because then the confusion is minimized drastically. Yeah. So that really helps uh, expedite the entire process. Okay. We have daily reports, weekly reports. We have a very good way of monitoring our system. So that's something that's been truly helpful. So these are few challenges that we've overcome. And uh, I think uh, now because of technology, it's getting easier to convey our vision with materials, with mood boards. So that's really been very helpful. Lovely. That's a big achievement in itself, honestly speaking. But then coming from there to achievements was my next question. Okay. So, you know, I think this is one achievement. But uh, taking it ahead, what are your, what have been your achievements? What are your achievements? So, um, honestly, again, for me, the biggest achievement is to receive a good referral. Uh, word of mouth works in our field. So when a client is happy and gives you a really good testimonial, I think that says it all. So that's a big achievement. Uh, but uh, having said that, uh, we are on the Forbes list 2023 uh, in India for uh, in the list of interior designers and architects. Congratulations. Thank you. And I'm really humbled with that, uh, with that um, prestigious honor. And also, uh, Interior Design Magazine New York has named us in 2023 as uh, one of the most promising global designers. So mm -hmm. that's something else I can think of among what color. But uh, no, these are just few things that, you know, it really truly humbles me and just motivates me to work harder, move forward, do my best every day, uh, perform to the best of my capability and keeps me going. Perfect. That's really, really amazing. So now, what are your dream projects? Uh, so, in terms of dream projects, I love the way the trajectory is going right now. And I'm very, very blessed to have that. But uh, just like for a fun answer, I've always had this dream to do a boutique hotel, like a beautiful boutique hotel, uh, which caters to all the disciplines in our field, whether it's uh, like you're designing rooms, so it's residential, you're designing restaurants, so you're catering to hospitality. Uh, you'll be doing some conference areas there, so it'll be commercial. So I feel it's a really good amalgamation of all the different disciplines in design. So uh, yeah, that would be one. So more important than that, another uh, dream of mine is to create uh, 
solution based products for the market which uh, help in aiding people to do things better and solve problems so that's something i would love to develop in the future great wish you all the best thank that. you thank you so when we spoke about dream project is there a dream destination also for the project or separately is there some particular place you know in your mind that i really want to do a project in this yeah country city whatever yes yes no i would definitely love to do a project in dubai i would uh, because these are cities i love so i love dubai i am obsessed with new york so i would love to do a project there yeah <laughs> i love new york so i would love to do work in new york and hopefully in the future have my products or my work uh go there to a global uh, audience and uh, also i mean i love the sea so whether it's doing something in alibag or doing something in goa or oh miami or oh miami <laughs> yeah 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 oh my god or oh bali anywhere i think that's a beautiful backdrop yeah. so um, i mean context plays a very important role when you design any edifice so i feel that uh, yeah that would be amazing so talking about dream projects i want to know from you which are your best project till date so uh, again for me it all comes down to the experience that i've had more than um, all the recognition that i have of course you know achieved on that project so the experience that i've had on the pop art home has been uh, truly amazing because uh, i feel that that project was done maybe 5 years back but it was ahead of its time it was uh, forward in terms of fashion a bold expression the use of color which i feel is uh, caters to a global palette and sensibility but not so much in the indian context mm-hmm. people are still reserved and i feel now they're opening because of fashion and because of uh, uh, the exposure and high beast brands but that wasn't the case when we were doing the project so just the way we uh, got uh, our clients to trust us believe in us uh, help us uh, you know design with uh, our vision and our expression is something that uh, really made the outcome what it was and then the recognition we got was truly very humbling so it kind of just worked together as a whole and it's a really beautiful memory that i have and i hope to create more of this in the future be fearless with my designs and just go for it i feel that is something that every designer truly aspires to do that's lovely i mean talking to you i feel like Oh my god there's so much yet to achieve oh yeah I've, oh yeah. yeah there is so i mean so that's yeah. probably you know coming to the next question that is your future project yeah what are your what's my vision yes so um i mean like i told you we are very happy in the current space that we are we're doing some large scale uh, homes and we have wonderful clients but uh, in terms of what the future holds I would want to add more experiences for the client when they come to us I would want to deliver more to them in terms of service in terms of uh, better design better uh, workmanship also uh, maintain the know-how of the industry latest technologies uh, using uh, like I told you augmented reality using uh, probably using the best lighting systems that they are adopting circadian rhythm of lighting into uh, into their spaces so these little small details this intricate details that we can add to create a better experience for the client is something that i would uh, want to achieve and i feel that's when the future is and uh, like i told you again uh, problem solving uh, when i go to site i go with the vision that today i need to solve issues that are on site and streamline work so that is uh, so the new up you know the project on time deliver the project faster and yeah the client is so happy at the end of the day yeah me last but not the least what do you have to say about astech so uh, astech has been with me since so many years now so it's is this kind of bond that i have with astech every year going to astech it opens up our mind because otherwise we are on site we're with clients we're doing that but when we go to astech it's not only interacting with the industry which is really great but understanding about new products learning about the latest technologies materials and just experiencing everything the best that is to offer under one roof is something that astech has been consistently doing and i truly believe that they are just getting better with every passing year and i wish them all the very best thank you so much 
Thanks, Janath, for this beautiful uh, conversation that we had. I mean, I've learned so much more, not just about the industry and, you know, all the new things and all uh, the best of uh, the projects that you're doing and, you know, all those innovative ideas that you have. But you as a person... Oh my God. Thank you so much. Likewise. Like I just always so grateful to meet you. Well, we appreciate the positivity is what actually makes this conversation go. Great. That's all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot.